Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I got a job in progress, but I ran into a little bit of an issue. Essentially, I'm doing the rear differential service on this Ford F-150 and a bolt broke on the cover. So we're gonna have to extract that out. Now, you guys can clearly see here, I'll try to zoom you in. That is what happened right there. Out of all of them, that one just was not giving. Uh, the reason why this happens is these bolts are not sealed off on the back. They actually pass through so water can get in there and seize them up. So that's the bolt that I'm having an issue with. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to try to extract it. Now, before I go crazy and I try to drill everything out, uh, what I'm essentially going to elect to do is I'm going to try to weld a nut on there. So I'm going to take this guy and put it up here and try to weld it and see if we can't back it off using that method. All right, guys. So I went and got my welder set up. And the way I'm going to elect to do this, I'm going to time lapse it. Uh, just because I don't believe it's going to, you know, be as fast as I think it would be. So essentially what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to weld a nut to this. Now when you do this, you want to make sure, because you're working around oil, you do not want to get any sparks everywhere and potentially start a fire. So have your, you know, equipment ready in case that does happen. Also, remember, you got to wear your personal protection. So wear your helmet. You do not want to weld without a helmet, guys. So let me go ahead and set up a time lapse and I'll show you guys the process. All right, guys, so I'm set up here on a time lapse. So what I did was I tried welding the nut on there. And as you guys can see, it didn't really go to all well the first time. Now I tried to grind it down. And basically what I'm doing here is building up the broken piece and then trying to weld a nut on there. And it's just not giving. It would just constantly snap. Um, essentially, I give it a couple more goes and I find out it doesn't work and I wind up switching methods. All right, guys, so I've tried welding on there to try to extract it. It's just not giving me anything. Uh, you guys will see in the time lapse, I tried like three or four times. Uh, the thing is really in there, so the welding is not working to try to weld a nut on it to get it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drill it out. And uh, to start off drilling, you're going to want to get a center punch. you got to make a centering hole. So I am going to try to get as best as I can in here. And just hit it a few times uh, just so you can make a centering hole and you always want to start off with a small drill bit guys nothing big and just kind of work your way up so I'm gonna go ahead and time-lapse and see how this goes all right guys so you essentially saw what I did on the time-lapse now I kind of want to explain what I did so let me zoom you guys in here. Um, unfortunately, I got a little strap for time, so I didn't have uh, too much time to film this. So let me kind of explain my process here. As you guys can see right now, you guys can see my finger through the other side. What I initially tried to do was I tried to weld onto the broken portion of the bolt. Uh, so I basically tacked on some welds to make it, you know, kind of stick out. And I tried putting a nut on there and welding the nut onto it in hopes that it would just spin out. Now, as you guys saw, that did not work. I actually attempted it quite a few times, and I'll voice over the actual time lapse so you guys can kind of know what I'm doing at what time. And then essentially what I started doing was I started drilling it. And then I got a phone call from the customer saying that he wanted to pick up his truck. So I had to kind of like rush things off camera. He actually came by here, I had to cut the camera off, and he kind of, uh, you know, saw what was going on and kind of explained it to him. So I bought myself a little bit of time. But unfortunately, I still got to get this done. Uh, so I didn't have a lot of time on camera here, guys, unfortunately, for this one. So this may not necessarily be a how to do this, more just for entertainment and kind of show you a process of how to do it. So essentially, after I drilled this out and I made the diameter bigger, uh, essentially what I did was I drilled it out to a 3 8 hole. Uh, what I did was I found a nut and bolt that was suitable. And I don't know if you guys can see on here, essentially. What I did was I drilled it straight through. Then I put my nut and bolt and I got them on tight and then I took my welder and I just basically put a couple, you know, welds on here just to hold this. Now guys, I'm not a welder, so I know this looks very horrible, but all I had to do is just basically keep this bolt on here uh, from, you know, falling down. So that way the guy can, you know, remove it and reinstall it without having any issues. And if he ever does have an issue, you just take an air hammer, break these little welds and essentially put a new nut and bolt on there. So that's how I chose to do it. Now, some of you may disagree with that. But, you know, I talked to the customer, I told him what I was doing, so he fully understood it. 
and this truck does have around 200 and something thousand miles so he was perfectly fine with that he's like listen just get it done he's like i trust you um so you know this is the method that i chose to do it uh the other method that you could do is you could drill out the actual hole on the front here and you can actually tap it now i didn't have any taps on hand that would you know do this and uh, to be able to put a heel coil in there i just didn't have a kit for the diameter that it was otherwise that would probably be the best method to do this so that's essentially how it was done guys now the reason why i did it this way is just one time constraints this customer needs his truck back and i didn't have a heel coil uh, otherwise i would normally heel coil this so that's why i did what i did the way i did it uh, now the customer is fully aware like i said uh, i had to stop filming the time lapse because he actually came in uh, and I had to kind of go over everything with them and you know showed them what was going on Because uh, I called him over the phone and explained to him that I had to extract the bolt But you know this guy, you know, he's very worrisome. So he actually stopped by to check on it uh, And sometimes that happens guys. So unfortunately I couldn't film the rest of it But hopefully this shows you kind of the process you guys kind of see me welding on there and then you know Using the drill to drill it out. Um, I didn't get the welding portion of the bolt and how I did that. But like I said, essentially, I just ran the two together, make sure they were perfectly square, and just tack welded it on there. And again, guys, hopefully you guys don't judge me too much for the way I did this. Uh, not that it's a horrible way or a bad way to do things. It's just, you know, a lot of people are going to, you know, have their opinion. Uh, this works just as good as anything else, guys. Uh, just not the prettiest looking thing. But, you know, fortunately, it's not about how something looks pretty. It's about how well it works. And I choose effectiveness over looks. So with that said, guys, hopefully you guys like this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Um, it definitely helps my channel grow so I can make more awesome content for you guys. And with that said, I'll catch you guys on the next repair.